Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop and welcome to issue number three of Build the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series Batman. Now, if you'd like to build along with me and grab one of these for yourselves, click this little link bing, all the way along there. Anyway. Let's have a quick look at what we've got in this issue and then we can start putting all the goodies together and we have got a big old box of goodies as well folks just off to me left I'll show you in a second right the TV show fine feathered things and this is all about the cast and crew here and this is the penguin and this was Burgess Meredith do you remember Mickey out of the Rocky films yeah there you go Burgess Meredith played the penguin folks I think he played it really well I must admit so remember this show from when I was a young fella you've then got the bird brain wins yes folks KG bird makers of superior umbrellas I used to like all of the kapow and ka-ching and all of that lot in the background as well you then got the Batman comic there from the detective comics range Batman debuts in a grim tale of murder and big business intrigue. I wonder whether these comics, I mean, it's so cool if they re-released a lot of them. But I suppose there's a market for it, isn't there? A collector's market. So I suppose if they redone them, yeah. Anyway, Secrets of Murder from the Batman comics. A very lovely fairy tale commissioner indeed, says Batman. And the thing with the comics as well that I remember is you could use your imagination with them as well and just imagine all of the things that were going on. Batman 41, the character of Batman, was now a year old and a regular star of comic books themselves, growing in popularity as a source of much-needed entertainment. Comic books were massive, massive things back then because you didn't have the internet. Television was still relatively in its infancy. You had the movies, but for youngsters, it was the comic books. And you really got to go into this weird world of Gotham City and Batman, the Joker and all of that. So, yeah. Return of the Joker. Other notable occurrences of 1941 included the return of the already very popular character, the Joker. Yes, folks very sinister fella this is your big packet of car parts that you've got in this issue and you've got like I say the roll bar top and bottom emergency back turn lever see? emergency back turn handle bases beacon covers lenses LED brackets all the dome lenses stalks roll bar brackets LEDs and some screws and fittings and if it sounds a lot it's because it is folks look at this lot a right old collection in there to put together this week so yeah so we'll sit and do them in a moment start getting them all on and this tells you where on your batmobile we're going to be working folks okay gives you all of the step-by-step -step instructions that you want fitting the lenses installing the beacon all of that tells you how to put the lights in where to fit all of the fittings, where to do your wire runs, which is important, folks, so you don't stretch the fittings. So, yeah, give these a look. If you're not sure, check and double-check. But also learn the art of dry fitting, folks. Something us scale modelers do anyway, but dry fit the parts, test fit before you put it all together, just to make sure it's going together how you want it to. So there's some more details there of the instructions where your light wires need to end up, that sort of thing. And then it shows you the underside on what you should have. And then it shows you what you should have on the upper side. Orientation and then where the wire comes out so that when you plug it in, it's all hidden away. Keep these to hand, folks. So I'm going to flip back to the beginning part. We'll put the instructions at the back here so that I can see what I'm doing and then we'll start opening up all of the parts so that we can see what we've got this month. Oops. So I'm going to do that. When we come back, I'll have all the parts laid out. OK, 
okay right we've got all these bits laid out as you can see and there is an awful lot of them in there so, yeah so let's turn the page and see what is first on the list it says first remove the roll bar light cups and lenses from their sprouts okay so we'll have them the usual there let's grab myself a pair of nippers and get them off their sprues shall we so that's those and then we got four of the lenses as well the little red parts now you want to cut just where the flat part is so you end up with the peg as well like that that's what you want and then that will go into the chrome there you go like that the press fit into place just like so lovely jubbly okay and then they'll go in the little grooves on the sides there so i just want to face them down so we'll get them all off and we'll put them all on and then that'll be us done with dead spread stuff then so we'll get them all off like that and it's all the little fiddly bits this episode but it's gonna it's gonna look mint it really is I already want to do Batmobile noises and I've only got a few bits of it built. What am I going to be like when it's all done and dusted, eh? It's going to be a nightmare. There you go. I'll put the lenses and I'll keep it on face down. Purely and simply because when I pick them up, I want to be able to pick them up by their, their mounting pegs, so to speak, so that I can just slot them in place. They're a little bit fiddly to do, especially if you've got big clumsy hands like mine. But they will go in, folks, okay? So bear that in mind. So I'll just pop that in there. I say it's a simple procedure, but like I say, you know, just persevere with it. Like that. Right, let's grab our little piece here with the light on, where the light's going to go. And then we can put these parts in like so okay and basically you're going to be using the pins at the end just to locate them in the side of this bar and then you'll be then putting in the bracket which is this and then that will then retain them in like so that's what you're after that way around see and it'll give you the little pegs retained in that little gap see it so that's what you want to do folks and that'll be a couple of acm screws which are these okay so i'm gonna do these hopefully they stay in place like i say they should be all right they might be a little fiddly for you so if you need to put a little bit of glue on there just hold them in place it's not a problem I'm hoping they stay in place, he says, domestically. Like that. And then that one in there. And by powers of deduction, that should be... Now, is it big end or is it small end? Let's see which way round she'll fit. Snuggliest. Oh, look at that. That way around. Right. Never before have I focused so much on holding something in place. So I'll grab one of these. And I'll put the first one in dry. And then I'll come back at it and put the oil on in a second. I just want it to just sit in place. Like that whilst I get the screwdriver on it. Purely simply because I want to retain that in place like that. Whew. God, I was so nervous. All right, the next one now, I can put on with me grippy thing. Just so that I don't ping it when I've got the oil on it. There you go. Bosh, bit of oil. Give that a couple of turns. 
then release it and my screw's in place. Now see with a smaller screwdriver is a better fit on this one. Oh yeah, much better. Use your smaller screwdriver. There you go. And that's now pinched that in place. So I can now come back, pop that side off, get me gripper out, grip the screw, undo it, and then put the oil on. Just like that. And I'll put it back in. But it just let me hold those two lights in place while I did it. So that way worked for me. Give it a try. See whether it works for you folks. Because I can just imagine there's a lot of pingage potential with them. Okay, that gives you these lights. Them. Dun, 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 dun. Nice one. Right. So we got that in place. We can now then put O3H, which looks like it's the glass for the light up underneath there, like so. And then the cage for the beacon on the top, just like so. Put a couple of locating picks that go in the holes there. So let's just make sure that they're not handed, which they are. There's a slightly larger one goes to the back there, folks. Just like that. Okay, so that's what you want there. And then you want to build your cup, which is here. And then get your light, and you want to bend the wire, it says. Okay, so let's just loosen the light wire enough so that we can actually see what we've got. And you've got Tinsy Wincy LED there that sits in there. And you want that to go up in there, inside the cup, just like so. And then it's asking you to bend the legs, just like that. Okay. And that's what you want. Then that can now go up underneath there, like so. And that will sit in place and be held in with its retainer. Okay, so that's what we want, and it's held in with this and a couple of AM screws, folks. Okay, so let's just get that in situ, like so. I'm going to spin that around the kins and uh, have that in there. Alright, so it's a pair of AMs. So let's grab those. Off of there. We only want one first of all, so let's just pop that in there. I'm going to put the first one in dry, just hold it all in place. And then I'll put the oil on the second one, folks. Because these are a little fiddly to grab. Let's turn that and then grab the screwdriver and feed that in. Just like so. And that's now pulled that down nice and tight. Just make sure you're not pinching any of your wires just by giving it a little prod with a screwdriver. Uh, and you'll notice then that that's gone in nice and tight. Been that that's pretty much bit. I'll just turn that straight round like so. There you go. And that's now got the cable going down as it should. This is fitting the bat turn lever, folks. Right, we want 3C, which is this. And then we want the little bellows. And then that pushes straight in like so. Is ready to come out the other side. It says push the flat end of the emergency bat turn lever through the middle of the lever base and then push this through the roll bar bottom section of 3B. Okay? You want it protruding like so, a bit like a plunger, best way of describing it. Just get rid of that little bit of rubber poking off the edge there where it's been on a sprue. And then it's telling us to pull that through here. 
okay so feed it through from this side like so and it will hang down like this okay and then what back pan will do when he's inside is he'll just yeah all of that and then uh, part 3d which is this then goes in in this little hole on the end of the lever just like that okay and then just pull it back and that's your back turn lever folks it's that simple there you go let's just give that an adjust and then this then will have that on there ready then it says fit the handle uh, o3d onto the end of the lever and then place the left and right dome lens stalks 3l and m in the matching recesses on the top roll bar so we want these like so and then they go in these little recesses just like so okay and then we want some NP screws Now these are really tiny folks these a goodly dab of oil will be going in these little holes there just so that we get this doing what we want and the orientation of this is quite crucial folks now you've got your wire for your led at the back and you want these with the long piece facing down over the way like so okay and then we can then hopefully there you go that's going in now i can feel it there you go once you get one in the other one will pop straight in then there you go all right let's grab another one very fiddly stage because things are so tiny screws are very very tiny and the risk of uh shearing them in the plastic is quite high so i'm literally just as soon as it nips the plastic that's it i'm leaving it because i don't want to overdo it and that's what it will give you one of them okay and then that'll have a little lens cap pressed onto the top of them Just like so, okay. Probably put them on with a bit of glue, actually. Just be on the safe side. Right, so we've got the other side to do as well. So what I'll do, whilst I'm doing the other side, put a bit of canopy glue on there. And let that start going a little little bit sticky and then we'll come back and we'll pop them on right we want one of those let's just lose them for a minute over the way and grab a pair of them screws just like so and lucky for me this is plastic so i'm not too worried about the oil on these because uh, i don't want them to hydraulic and actually then snap the plastic so i've been very very choosy and very delicate with these little fittings oh sure that's the screw hole there Okay. Here you go. Now we'll fit the other one in. Just like that. Okay. That should now have that canopy glue ready to accept that, which it has. And then we'll do the same on the other one now. Okay. 
and yeah a contact to clear by the way is what i'm using canopy glue as we call it in the modeling community and it's just a good way of putting clear lenses on just to just to let them adhere and, and stay in place which is what we want on this okay so we can grab that now and then what that'll do is that'll just give that a little bit of stickage because you know what will happen i'll pick it up and one of these will fire off and i'll never see it and then it's telling you now on the back page there to bring this piece on and then spin it upside down underneath to hold all of this but the crucial part remember feed the wire through just feed the wire through first before you do anything okay then you can have your your little back turn lever that goes on this peg okay so just pull your wire first do it i'm tending to do it on the mat there because it's just a bit easier for me and then that should then go over everything and line up in place just like that see and that's what that'll give you look at that straight in there is what you want go around and check everything fits everything's located which it has and then you can start going around and tightening the screws up and it's am screws you want on this you want four of them bad boys is it one two three four yeah there you go or three yeah four so let's get those in place get a bit of oil on them And we'll be coming to the end of this section then, peeps. There you go. Uh, sent the two holes there, so start it off there. I'll turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. Sent the two holes and then just screw it fully home. Like that, okay? Just in there. Making sure, obviously, you're not pinching any of the wires, any of the fittings. And it's actually a really sturdy piece, I must admit. A little bit of oil on there. Might as well do the other one on that end. Just rest it on my thumb. And then screw that home. Just like so. Spin that around. Just line my lever up. And then you should have one that goes right down in the centre hole on the front there, folks. Just like that. There you go. And that is suitably sorted. Have you some of that? Nice and easy. And yeah, I'll grab the last screw now. It will go right up where the back lever is. In there. Just to bring that arch now. Nice and tall. Where the lights. Oh, there you go. Look at that. And that is that section looking rather, rather splendid, isn't it? Eh? Let's give that a little, little line up. And this will go off quite nicely now, this contact are clear. And that will be going nowhere, folks. So that's this issue wrapped up for you. I like the labels on it as well. Look, emergency back turn lever. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yeah. So there you go, folks. That is issue number three of Build Your Own Batmobile from the original series. Remember, if you would like one of these for yourself, head over to the website using this link below here. Link is also in the description of each video in the series. Head over to their website and take out your very own subscription to the Batmobile. You will not be disappointed. And don't forget, you also get to do Batmobile noises. Just saying. Until the next issue, stay safe and well. I look forward to seeing you then.
Bye-bye for now. Bye.